Hey everyone, this is the fragrance sample week three update. I've realized I've been doing a lot of camera shots where I'm facing my wallpaper, so I thought I'd do a quick introductory video, show my pretty face on camera. So yeah, here's week three of August, where I've been wearing samples exclusively. I'm quite looking forward to wearing a bottle now, to be honest. There's another nine days until September, so bring it on. Flip it around. Right, so I've kind of worn more fragrances than this, and I've been testing many other ones. But to be honest, I just grabbed some random ones I've tested this week. I haven't worn all of them exclu exclusively, but I have been testing them various times. So, so here's Her Heritage by Guerlain. This is an amazingly classy fragrance. It kind of opens with a bit of lemon, I think. And it's just got very kind of masculine, very elegant classy smell i've worn it like twice and every time once i hit the dry down i'm just kind of really awestruck the opening is not the best or the most impressive thing but sort of after an hour this just kind of exudes class from all around it has good performance too it lasted for a decent time my skin i got this in a fragrance split this is herod by parfums de mali I have to admit, I'm quite unimpressed with this one. From the first time I smelled it, it made me think of Pure Havan by Petit Mugler. And I don't know, it just doesn't really do much for me. It's like not bad, but I don't think it's just my kind of thing. Even though it's similar to Pure Havan, which I really like, I just don't kind of get the same enjoyment from this one. Oh, day. So I've sent this, which is Patchouli Wood by Ajmal. I wore this at work on Monday and I was sitting in a kind of a meeting room with about 15 people. I put many sprays of this on beforehand and this, the meeting was right right in the morning in work. Not realising there's oud in here and it's quite heavy too so I was sitting there projecting massively of oud. <laughs> so yeah, I could just only laugh, you know. What can I say? So yeah, really good fragrance. I think it retails for 100 mil, costs about £80. And yeah, patchouli heavy as well, and I think it's really good. So last night I was wearing Jaipur EDT. I have the EDP, sorry. I have a sample of the EDT of this as well. And I find the EDT is a little screechier. This is a bit more denser, it's richer. I wasn't too fond of the EDT, but when I wore this last night, I was a bit more impressed with it. I kind of enjoyed it a lot more than the other times I've worn it. I think I have, I have tested this before but not actually worn it, so last time I was the first time to wear it and I did like it much more than the times I've sampled it. I kind of put it on late at night and went to bed so I can't really comment on how long it lasted. I'm sure this was a 5ml sample which was full and I've only worn it twice. And I have that much left, so yeah, this is La Venture by Al Haramein, the Aventus clone. I kind of got home from work and I put a few sprays of this on. To be honest, I must get really anosmic to it because I couldn't really notice it afterwards. I think I went and sprayed something else on. So, so yeah, for my testing it was pretty good, but I haven't really worn it. And for my wearing today I wasn't very impressed either. So last night I went shopping and put Bentley Absolute on. This is meant to smell like Gucci for Home 2. To me it smells quite similar to... Fuck, what's it called? Potion by D-Squared. People also say the potion smells similar to the Gucci, so yeah, but I think this must, this must have mixed in with something else. Potentially Gucci Absolute, which I put on in the day, but I was walking around the shop and I was kind of catching whiffs of it, bloody hell. I was kind of thinking, what's that? Because it didn't really remind me of when I tested this, so I think it was the two fragrances layered. But yeah, it's really nice. Uh, will I buy a bottle of it? Probably not, to be honest. I was extremely kindly sent a sample here of Kouros Fresher. I'd recently bought a vintage Kouros, one of the summer flankers. Not the energizing technique, but kind of Kouros et summer or something like that. And it's kind of similar to this one. People are saying in the, in the reviews that the flankers are similar to this fresh one. There's kind of like a minty note in there, and I tested it. I haven't worn this yet, but I wasn't that impressed, to be honest. It reminded me of the other one, which I actually sent back because it just didn't really seem to project or have any performance on my skin. 
they seem to last like an hour, but that happens a lot when I test things. If I spray like a few sprays in my hand, after like an hour it just doesn't last. But if I wear it, it's a completely different story. So I do need to wear this one to kind of gain a better judgement from it. So here's Pure... I'm doing it so close, so here's Pure Wood by Thierry Mugler. Again, this one just didn't really do much for me. I was going to blind buy a bottle of this at one point, so I'm glad I didn't. Once or twice I've enjoyed it, but sometimes it's just very like... Meh. You know, I'm not really... Was that a sheep noise then? I don't know, it just doesn't really do much for me, and you know, I can't be asked with fragrances like that, to be honest. And in the same fashion, we have Bogart Po Hom. This I've tried many times now, I'm pretty sure I just don't like it that much. It's not a dislike, but it's just... It's below a like, I'd say. Too sweet. Not the beast that everyone said that it is. Eh. Common theme here, eh? And finally, I'm not, sure what, I'm not sure why I'm showing this one, but it's vintage Fahrenheit, so I did have a sample of this before I finally bought a bottle of it. And because I'm not allowing myself to wear bottles of Fahrenheit, I'm wearing my sample here. Just because I crave that fucking Fahrenheit. <laughs> Right, so that's what, seven and a half minutes, this video is a bit shorter than usual. I know I'm not really going into detail at all, I'm just kind of saying, yeah, I don't like these, or I do like this. I'm going to do some mini re review soon, and some fragrances, because I haven't reviewed things in a while. And yeah, I'm just waiting for the sample week to end now, I'm enjoying samples, but I do want to wear some, some of my bottles. So yeah. Right guys, see you in the next video, it'll be, what, nine days until I can wear a bottle again. Just over a week. So yeah, see you then guys, later.